In this video I'm going to give you a quick intro to the Spatula Go driver app. So you should have received an email once your team has added you as a driver and in it you'll see a link to download Spatula Go. So here in number two you've got the link here. If you open that link it should take you to the appropriate app store. So I'm on an iPhone so it'll take me to the iOS Play Store, uh, app store. Um, open it up. You uh, log in with the email address that you received that email on and the password should have been given to you by your account administrator. If it hasn't been then you need to ask them for that password or otherwise reply to that email and uh, I can help you to reset it. So we'll just log in and it will land on the main jobs landing page for Spatula Go. So we don't have any jobs yet. You may well have been assigned something before you log in for the first time and you'll see it here. Uh, otherwise in the top right hand corner you can see the jobs on offer. So there's a little two icon on something that looks a bit like an inbox. Those are the job offers. So if we click that you'll see that there's two jobs currently on offer. I'm going to accept both of them. Accept accept. So those have now been assigned to me. You can see there's no more offers available. I'll click the little back button to take me back to the inbox and these are all my assigned jobs. Before I go to how to go through those jobs, we'll just in the top left hand side you see a little icon. If you click that um, you can see this is where you update your own personal details. So I suggest you change your password to something that you'll remember right now. Make sure that your email address and your password are correct sorry, and your phone number are correct. And there's a little profile pic at the top. It's defaulting to your Gravatar. Uh, so if you don't have one, you'll have a little alien like I do here. You can change that profile pic and pick a photo from your library or take a photo using the camera. So I'm not going to do that right now. So click done to save it. And then, oh, there's one more thing on there. Um, if you want to use uh, American units, uh, you can flick that over. So it'll tell you how far away you are from the, the job in miles as opposed to kilometers. So don't do that unless you're in America. Um, then click done. And OK, so I've got two versions of a job here. In Spatula, you can have a single task job. So like the first one there, demo one task, which is usually what people do if they're a restaurant and just making deliveries and they always know where they're going to go back to. Uh, if you're delivering for multiple vendors or you're a courier or something like that, you often get two stops on a job. So the second of these, that demo point to point, shows you how that looks like. You've got um, the name of the job at the top, when it's due, so both of these I've set to ASAP, and then the two locations of those. Um, so let's start with the first one. Oh, and if you click on the, the label at the top, so demo, I'm going to click on demo one task here. Um, it takes you to this job details view and there you see everything that's available for that job. So you, could, you might have a, a lot more info down the bottom. If you click on that phone number or email address, you can contact the driver, uh, the customer. And if you click the little plus, you can manually uh, select, you can add some notes, take photos, send tracking links to someone from your contacts or add a signature to the job. Um, and this is also where you go to complete the job. But let's just go back to the main page by clicking the little back in the top left hand corner. Um, so let's work, let's see how to actually go through and complete a job. Um, let's, we start at the top, that demo one task. Um, if I want to navigate to that job, I click the navigate button, that'll open up either Apple Maps or Google Maps. So all you have to do is click start and you're off and navigating. Let's just go back to Spatula Go. When you click that on my way button next to it, that's going to automatically send a tracking link to the customer. So I'll just click it now. I've set the customer's phone number to be my custom, my phone number. So in a second here, we should see an SMS come through and you can see what that looks like. Um, and so when the customer gets this, they'll be able to click and see your location until you've marked this job completed. So just remember to mark jobs finished. Otherwise, your customers will continue to be able to see you on a map. Um, so once you've actually finished a particular task, uh, you click. You just have to cross out this task to, to ha add a, um, a timestamp for when that was done. When you want to get rid of the whole job and mark it completed and say this is finally finished, go into that job details page and then click the complete button in the bottom left hand corner. And as you can see, that is now vanished from the screen. Now. One more different thing for a two-stop job. You'll see that there's two tasks here. 
Kalamunda Road and Railway Road. And you see that the first one is highlighted blue, the second one's kind of grey. If I click Navigate, it's going to tell me how to get to the Kalamunda Road first stop, because that's the stop that Spatula currently thinks that we're up to. So I'll go back to here. If I want to then say I've done a pickup from Kalamunda Road, once I've done that, I need to tell Spatula Go that that task is done so that the next time I click Navigate, it's going to um, take me to Railway Road instead. And it'll also update the main tracking control center for your managers or the dispatch team to be able to see um, which stop that you're up to. So if I swipe this Kalamunda Road to the right, that's now marked done. You can see that Railway Road is now blue. And if I click Navigate, it's going to take me to Railway Road instead. And that's going to be it. So let's go back to that. I'm going to mark this task done as well. Enter the job details and um, maybe just add a quick note. Um, left it by the back door. Whatever. Save that note and then mark this job as done by completing the D by clicking the complete button. And that's it, I've finished all my jobs. Um, keep in mind that your team manager is going to be able to track your location for as long as you're logged into the app. So you can either log out or just um, you know close the app entirely and that will stop you from being tracked and you'll need to remember to log in next time.